Hey guys, Mark here from UChat, and in today's video we're going to take a look at how you can make complicated flows, which contains a lot of blocks, much simpler, which reduces the amount of blocks, but also your chatbot building time. So let's take a look at this example. In this example, we have two different kinds of split modules with random answers, right? So we want to make the chatbot a little bit more responsive instead of showing the same kind of response every single time, we want to randomize this a little bit. So a way you can do this and the way most chatbot builders do this is by randomizing them using the split module. Inside the split module, you can add as many variations as you like to. For now, I just added three variations on the first one and three variations on the, on the second one. Now, if we take a look here, you will see that the first one is, hey, first name and welcome. And the second one is great to see you here, first name. And then the third one is so excited to see you here, first name. Then we go inside of another split module where we will be able to randomize three different kinds of answers again. So we are here for you every step of the way. We are determined to help you succeed. And then the last one, we are ready to kickstart your chatbot building journey, right? But this setup requires a lot of blocks and it takes a lot of your chatbot building time. So inside of UChat, you have something called spin text and the way to access this is really easy. We can reduce all of these eight blocks that you currently see into one single text block. Crazy, right? So how does this work? We are going with a single text block, send message block. From here, we'll select the text block, right? And then we will take a look at all the different kinds of, and let's actually duplicate this tab so it's easier to go back and forth. But inside, we want to show these three answers, right? We want to randomize these. So the way to do this inside of one single text block is actually by going to the variables icon and then go with the system field random text. Once pressed, you will see that it just drops random text and this is actually being outputted as such. But if you press this system field, you will be able to get variants like you do with the Facebook comment growth tool, right? You will be able to set up different kinds of responses inside of one single system field in this case. But now we can just grab these kinds of responses and drop them right inside of the variants. Great to see you here. So excited to see you here, right? So let's just copy and paste this. Once you added all your variants, you can just press the save button. And now we can just continue our text any way we like to. So we will also want to personalize this message. So we will just choose the first name variable. And now we can do the second patch of random text inputs. So we can now actually input all of these three inside of another random text system field. So if we go there, let's just grab this text block again. So inside of this text message, this send message block, we can go with the variant system field random text again. And now we can just press this and just put in all these variables. So we are here for you every step of the way. Let's just copy and paste that in. Once done, just press save and you're basically set to go. So all these eight blocks, right? So two split modules and three send message text blocks have now been combined into this single send message block, which is crazy because it reduces the amount of blocks inside of your flow. It makes your flows less complicated to take a look at and you are able to show exactly the same outcome. So how does this look like on the front end? Let's take a look and find out. So let's preview this single block flow. Let's actually copy all of these blocks and put them inside of a workspace to minimize them. There we go, inside of a canvas and then minimize the canvas. And now let's preview this block. Great to see you here, Mark. We are ready to kickstart your chatbot building journey. And if we preview it again, we should get another variant of those mixed random text. So let's take a look. 
So excited to see you here, Mark. We are here for you every step of the way. So you can see that this single block replaces all of these eight blocks, right? So if we do the same with this one, just preview this step. Hey Mark and welcome. We are here for you every step of the way. And this actually shows inside of two different kinds of text messages, which could annoy and frustrate the user experience as well, because they will get multiple pings. Whereas if you use the random text inside of one send message block, it combines it into one message block instead of two. So if we take another look and do it again, let's preview this overly complicated flow. You can see, great to see you here, Mark. We are here for you every step of the way. And if we do the same preview, but then with this block only, great to see you here, Mark. We are determined to help you succeed. So you can see how powerful this spin text feature is because it allows you to randomize the responses of the chatbot, but in a much more efficient and structured way. You just paste in a one send message block, one text block basically, and you can then send as many variants if you like to. If you have any questions about the spin text feature, then be sure to drop your comment down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. But we hope that this video showed you how to build less complicated flows with more randomizations inside of your chatbot, which provides a much better user experience overall. Have a great day, take care and talk soon.